hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to pin multiple locations in google maps so first of all open up the web browser just like this okay now you need to go and search for a location here suppose i'm going to click on rosalia okay now i'm going to click on directions let me change it now for the uh, directions i'm going to click on dexter here okay now you want to pin another one click on add destination right here on the left hand side now you can go and choose a location suppose i'm going to choose loco hills here okay now i want to pin another one click on add destination it's just like adding a stop here okay suppose this buckeye all right now another one click on add destinations click on loop box here okay so just like this you can add multiple locations now there is another way to do it so for uh, another way you can open up another tab here and click on google.com slash my maps okay google.com slash my maps and hit on enter here now it will take you to this screen which says uh, create a new map option on the left hand side click on create a new map click on create okay now here you can actually give a title here okay my map you can add a description okay click on save now enter the first location suppose i'm going to enter new delhi okay now i have entered new delhi right now uh, again click on add to map here all right so it has, it just added new delhi now if I go here and suppose click on this uh, hotel here just like this now there is an option add to map now you can see it just added on the left hand side now if I go here to another one suppose green fields if I click here then you will get option add to map click on add to map and it just pinned it also now another one suppose I am going to the Gopal Vatika here click on this one now again option will come add to map and now you can see it just pin it here so this is how easily you can uh, go and pin multiple locations so inside my map this map will be saved here okay uh, you can also see from your new map copy map open a map okay set default view so this is how easily you can do it so thank you for watching the video please like it and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you